This is the third lesson of Crystal Component Training. In this lesson we're going to learn how to email Crystal from a grid. We're going to start with copying from Lesson 2 with the print option of the Order Acknowledgement Report and add a new button to email that same report. I'm logged into the project Crystal Component Training. We're going to start off by copying from Lesson 2 Acknowledgement Crystal Report and this is going to be Lesson 3 Acknowledgement Crystal Report and this is actually going to how to email crystal from a grid. So we have already have lesson 2 copying to lesson 3. We already have the print button and now we're going to add an email button. Which means that we already have several things already defined. The SQL statements already been defined. And in lesson 2 I said that I added one extra field to this. And again, that field came from uh, Macola ES only. And that was the email address. Now I've preset these all to my email address to, you'll, you'll see later, to make sure that the recipient's going to be myself for the demo purposes or training. And again, only in McCall ES is the email address uh, available. And we already defined the filter, the customer number. And we have the print button. So we're going to add another button. This again is going to be a transaction report. And we're just going to call this email. And we're going to define the email. So we're going to add a crystal report. And we're going to add the lesson one acknowledgement crystal report. And we've got this time a report destination of email. And now you'll see we have extra items here to define beyond the filters for the crystal report. We have the email subject, the email body, the recipients, CC recipients, and uh, blind copy recipients. So we've set up this email. Now, to make this email work, there are other setup options. Like you have to define the email server, the from address, a login, a password, a port for SMTP, all that information is part of Agility Setup and you can look that up in the documentation so I'm not going to go into that here. As before we're going to pick up the order number from the view and the source column is going to be order number. The rest of these items as before will be default true default true, default, true. Now we have to have a subject. This will be a default. But now we can do something a little more. So we're going to make this fairly simple. Let's just type in here, oops, type in here, your order number and then we're just going to double click order number and that's going to insert the order number into the email subject line so that we can build subject lines that are a little more robust and have some intelligence. And The next is the email body. It's going to be a default. This is going to be a little more complicated and let's say we're going to say thank you for your order and let's get the order number and 
which was entered and then let's put the entered date just to make it a little more interesting and we are in the process of shipping we have attached our at uh, acknowledgement for your verification your PO and we'll just put the PO number in here I was going to say your PO was thank you for your order and I copied the clipboard my address you probably have a general customer service address so you know when I'll show you when this comes up though we'll have some hyperlinks to email and some things like that and we've tried to make it somewhat interesting body you can certainly make this as complex as you want and so we've done an email body you might really as a, a blind CC make it customer service or yourself so that you also have a copy of this email after it goes out so we'll just save this say okay and do a preview and we're gonna do this again for customer 901 everything's already been preset up because I copied everything and we're going to do 490 and we're going to email and the email will go out and I'm going to and it failed oh I forgot to, to find the email recipient so that's okay let me go back it's a right to make a mistake to the definition of the email what it's telling me is I did not I put the subject the body but I did not put an email recipient so that shows you that you can get a failure and I, and I remember I went to all the trouble of telling you that I had an email address out here and then I never used it so let's try it again preview 901 490 email And I'll wait for the email to pop up in the lower corner as it comes into my uh, mailbox. And there it is. And it's thank you for order 490, which is entered. Um, I do have a date and, and uh, um, a time, but I could have stripped that off. And we're in the process of shipping. We have attached our, your acknowledgement. In this case, I did not have a PO, but normally I would. And this is that same order number and it's now a PDF and it's attached to the email going out and you'll see that we still have this set up as hyperlink text for anybody want to contact customer service and that is the end of my email presentation I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial and I encourage you to move on to the next video tutorial in this series.